Video's barely started. My cat is bored. Almost looked like she was looking up at the bird. Look at that. Check it out. Eh, maybe not as much now. Hey! Okay, I see. That's what we're doing today. I'm taking a look at the ground right now. Because uh, I'm not sure how I want to do this just yet. My thought was to do it the easy way, but we might need to do it the hard way. I think we have what we're going to need for this. We're about to find out here. I'm going to set Skyline down. This looks like a nice quiet-ish place to... Uh, maybe set down for just a moment. Yeah, let's go ahead and risk it right now. All right, birdie. Tag, you're about to go down. Maybe. I don't think that one got it. Did that one? Sure doesn't look like it. Man, it's only a level four Quetzal, so it's not super high level. So I'm thinking it shouldn't have a ton of torpor. I actually thought one of these darts might crud. There's a raptor, be sufficient, but apparently not. If the way it's still flying is anything to judge by. With any luck, nothing will come down and kill me right now. That one hit it? Nope. How about that one? Nope. Yes, it did, actually. That one did tag it. Yeah, I don't know. This may not work out well. I'm kind of doing it the hard way. Not the extremely hard way. But I do have the stuff to do that. You might notice inventory number seven. Oh, hello there, gorgeous. Let's just hop off and shoot you in the butt. Oh, look at that. Perfect. <laughs> I don't think I could have a better spot for this guy to crash down if I tried. I mean, I was kind of trying, but um, still. Man, and you know what? The funny thing about all of this is... I totally brought the wrong flyer with me. I loaded Skyline up. I just now realized, I even started the video off saying Skyline. I just now realized, nope, I have Terry, I think. Or someone. Can you can you stand right there? Um, I brought Terra. I didn't even bring anywhere close to the right creature. Ow, that hurt. All right, well, if I can climb back up there. Ah. Uh, Maybe this isn't in such a good place, because apparently I can't get up there. All right, Terra, I need you to come down. I actually loaded Skyline up with a bunch of um, wood and stuff so I could build some spike balls just in case we get attacked over here. Oh, don't tell me you're stuck up there. That would be silly. There we go. Let's fly back up and try this again. Apparently I need to find a better place to land where I can fall onto this Quetzal. Okay, we're going to cancel that follow command. And crud, are you kidding me? Ah, oh, this has got to be the stupidest thing ever. All right. Um, next idea. Hmm. Apparently you cannot grapple something that's unconscious. Bummer. Well, this is really turning out to be quite the comedy of errors. That kind of follows the theme for my day anyway. But just the same, that is a tad frustrating. Can I, can I stay right here? Maybe. Okay. I can't quite. Not you. You? Aha. Um, hmm. All right, let's give you one of these and some of these. And Terra, come back. Rudd. I need to get I need to get the meat off of you. And I can't reach you from there. Here, let's have you not follow and then have you follow again. Come back. Take, take, take. Alright. You stay right there. That would be perfect, actually, if you were to stay right there. Because then I can dump all of this stuff on this guy. We're gonna go ahead and blast a metabolic accelerator. And uh, just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna go ahead and use a concentrated narcotic. And let's see how this is doing. Unfortunately, I'm using cooked prime meat. I don't have I don't have any raw stuff handy. I suppose I could go try and grab some, but considering the trouble I just had trying to actually get to the point where I could stand and feed this girl. Yeah, I don't want to do that right now. Really don't. Check this out. Is that creepy or what? You got one eye looking at you. So far, this is going pretty well. Now, I want to tell you that I'm going after this Quetzal specifically. I have actually seen higher level ones on the map. There's actually um, 
You know, I think I'm going to be able to just kind of hang with you here for a minute. There's a level 90-something Quetzal that's kind of nearby. It's actually not that far away, all things considered. I'm going to be honest with you. Tried to get that one. Didn't happen. I looked up the math on that one. Level 96, you're talking about a couple hundred thousand Torpor. Just at a guess. I mean, and looking at this guy here, this girl, 2100, that's actually right about what the calculator said. So, 200,000 Torpor. Uh, this took seven darts, inclusive of me missing, of course. Yeah, I don't have that many darts, and since I've already tried this once, uh, once <laughs> I admit I looked up the numbers after the fact, and then I realized just how not possible it was going to be at the moment. So I may or may not have already wasted a bunch of materials, darts, etc. Oops! What can you do? Lesson learned. Look up the calculator before you try to tame a stupidly high-level Quetzal. So, you know, I learned my lesson. We're going to go ahead and say that. Anyway, we're coming along just fine here. I think I'm going to be able to get away with using one more metabolic accelerator, and she will be good to go. Maybe even she'll be okay just as is. She's going to be about three meat away, three feedings away. She's doing just fine. This is going to kind of set us up for some uh, other stuff, namely being able to get that higher level Quetzal. I don't quite know how that's going to work out yet. I'm going to need darts that do more torpor than 700 because uh, I don't have the time or the patience to fire. I'm not even going to do the math, but that many darts at her. It's just not going to happen right now. You know what? I'm going to take one of these because I'm hungry. I'll eat it. It's cool. I'm hungry. I can, I can use a cooked prime meat. I have enough of it. All of that's from Tiny anyway, so all I have to do is go take Tiny out for a quick run and have him say hi to the Brontos of the world, and uh, pretty much we're good to go. All right, I'm going to hop on Terra here. Thank you, Terra. You have been incredibly helpful. Let's not call you www. Um, there we go. We'll accept that. That is fine. All right, so we have ourselves a level four Quetzal. Now, level five, I'm sorry. I apologize. I called you level four. You're level five. That was rude of me. I am so sorry, because... I'm actually really excited about this. I didn't really get a Quetzal in the last series. I I don't think I did. Maybe I did. But I didn't get the platform. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember now. Did I get a Quetzal in the last series? You tell me. I don't remember. Is that bad? That's probably bad. Maybe that's a sign I'm, I don't know, going senile or something. I don't think I'm quite that old yet. But hey, you never know. Early onset senility. I guess it could happen. I don't remember if I got a Quetzal in the last one. I want to say maybe I did, but I was definitely not high enough level to get the big platform saddle and get a really cool mobile base thing going on. I don't I don't know. Maybe I didn't get a Quetzal. I think I did. Sorry. Yeah, I, be, I want to say I vaguely remember getting one. But anyway, we're going to be able to do that this time around. Now, if I do take a look here, just because I got to admit, I don't remember. Uh, level 80. So we're not there yet. And that's okay. I will get there. I'm not saying we're not going to get there. At the very least, I have to get to 85 because I'm just going to tell you, I am totally throwing a saddle on Tiny and we're just going to go smash up the entire island. That is so going to happen one of these days. Unfortunately, it's not going to be today because I'm still level 75. And I, I got to admit too, I am kind of uh, pushing what I can to give myself experience via crafting and stuff. And I know, I could totally just give myself the experience and it may come to that. I'm not going to say it won't. But right now, it's not. I'm still playing it, legit. So, for the time being. Uh, brr, you. Stop following. Stop following. There you go. Good. You, follow me. I think if I check over in about here, we should have a Quetzal saddle. Look at that. There's a Quetzal saddle. I always call them Quetzals, not Quetzals, because that, I don't know. Two syllables sounds better than one to me. Let's take all of this meat and narcotics off of you. You don't need to be carrying that stuff around. And you are rather large. And my dear, we shall set you right there. Thank you very much. You just stay there. You don't need to follow me anymore. Ah, oh, this is going to be great. All right, let me go ahead and put the food back in the refrigerator. There we go. Food is back in the refrigerator. That is good. And then let's go ahead and swap out our arrows because we're going to store grappling hooks 
sniper and dart in there. And then one last item to drop off. We're going to go ahead and drop off metabolic accelerators. Now, hmm, I should probably get some regular food to eat, shouldn't I? Do you have any? Uh, you don't. Oh, you do. Good. I'll take five of those. Why not? Take five. Call me in the morning. Right, let's go ahead and chomp on that, and let's hop on this Ketz right over here. Because she is now tamed. We're just going to go walk around. No, I'm kidding. We're not going to go walk around the island. That would be kind of funny, but we're not going to do that. So, Ketzels, if I remember, it has been a little while. But if I remember, these things can actually be pretty vicious. I mean, she's flying pretty quickly, all things considered here. I need to go get her some food. So we're going to do that. Let's take a look at her stats while we're doing that. 1,800 health. She's not too bad. 700 stamina. Now, I do have my dinosaur stamina set to one half because I get tired of having to stop. That's really all it is. It's honestly that simple. 820 pounds carrying weight. Oh, that is... I love this Quetzal already. Movement speed, not great. 136. But when you actually look at how quickly they're moving, they are not slow. So if we maybe just... Look at this one as uh, essentially going to be a platform. We're going to, the plan is, we're going to put a platform saddle on her. We're going to make a big platform. She's not going to be a big mobile base because at level five, she's not really quite qualified to be a big moving base. She's only going to get so many extra levels. So, you know, it's not going to work out all that greatly. But what she will work out well is, come here, Biomia. She will work out well as a pretty quick mount, mobile flight-based mount, can carry a lot of stuff, and if we get her a little bit more movement speed, um, maybe, I don't know, we'll have to see, then she'll actually be pretty quick, especially considering how much I can throw on her. Pause. So I am totally excited about that. All right, let's chew on that meat. Are you done yet? I'm going to say you're done, because I don't want to wait around for that. But we are flying this direction for a reason, aside from randomly killing things, which I am totally doing. You're next. You're next, Parasaur. Gallimimus, I decided to leave, because I don't know why. I don't have anything against the Gallimimus, but Parasaurs I will kill all day long, apparently. Here we go. And there's a level just like that. I'm going to have to see what she gets for her level up bonus here. How many... Uh, she needs some... And she needs some stamina. Let's see, what do you get? Ah, 3% really is not bad. We can get her up to probably 160 or 200 without too much trouble. I'm just letting her get some stamina back here. How are you doing on food? 98. Oh, there's a Carno. Just out of curiosity. Oh, you'd be brilliant. You'd be a boatload of experience. You are worth probably multiple levels. So let's go ahead and peck you to death, stupid Carno. I'm going to try and do that without running out of stamina, of course. This might take a little while, honestly. Wow. I'm not really worried about her dying. She's pretty much fine. I'm really just worried about her running out of stamina. I mean, she's not going to do a ton of damage, but she's going to do enough. All right, all right, all right. You're hitting me now. Stop that. Or you're hitting her, actually. Come on! I suppose we could just pick it up and go fly with it. Uh-oh. She needs to land. She's out of stamina. That's bad. Okay, get some stamina. Quickly. All right, now let's take the flight. Because now you are actually getting pretty beaten up. Because I'm being totally dumb about this. I, I know that. And we're going to land her on this rock. There you go. Meanwhile, Carno over there. We'll let Carno run around. And I'm just going to go ahead and blast some meat into her. She'll be fine. Totally not concerned about her right now. I don't see a Gigantosaurus anywhere nearby, so she'll be good. Karna was coming in, so we'll go ahead and let her take off now. Come on, Karno. Trying not to, to sprint if I can avoid it. Ah, Karno's stuck. Good. Go ahead and do that. Give you some more health. Why not? Maybe I should end up giving her some more stamina. I don't know. I mean, it, it's just it's taking a lot to to fight. That's really all it is. If I were just flying with her, she'd be totally fine. And I suppose I could just go, you know, get some stem berries, that sort of thing, too. 
All right, so let's go ahead and see if we can get this Carno. I would really like to kill it before we wrap this episode up, as we are actually kind of getting close to that time. We're not quite there yet, because I do have one last thing I would like to show you before we go. We are actually getting really close on this Carno. You can see it's a bloody mess. Don't run, Carno. Don't run. Don't fear the Reaper. Oh, she's killing fish. That's unexpected, or unplanned, rather. There we go. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. How many levels are you going to get out of that? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> ah, that was great. That right there, that was all worth it in my book. I don't know if you thought it was worth it. I did. Uh, all right, no more, no more Carno. Let me just get a little more stamina with her because I have really run her ragged. Look at that. We got some prime meat. That's always a good thing. kind of feel like I should just go throw the prime meat to a random dinosaur. Like, hey, happy birthday. It's your lucky day, random dinosaur. Have some raw prime meat. I'm not going to do that, though, because you can't actually do that. I'm going to try right quick. Um, if I don't find it very quickly, we're not going to run around doing this long. But I'm going to try very quickly to locate that Quetzal that is over here that I kind of told you about earlier on. I'm not seeing that Quetzal, but, you know, something I can do as I sign off here is I can load myself up, or her, up with a bunch of obsidian and metal, and I can take it all back, and I can make more polymer, because you can never have enough polymer. That's just the way of the game. Anyway, we will catch up on the next episode. If you'd like to throw me some names, um, I think we have, well, a Quetzal that needs to be named and probably something else that I am not thinking of at this particular moment. So if you want to throw me a name for a Quetzal and whatever the other thing is that I can't seem to remember, then go ahead and throw me some names and I will randomly pull from the list, assuming we get some names and uh, take care of them on the next episode. So until then, thanks for watching. See you later.